dear students in this video lecture we are going to see about the different types of phase diagram based on the number of components where component is the minimum number of constituent present in a system minimum number of constituent in that sense for example if the constituent uh, is water uh, water is uh, in water only one molecule of h2o is a minimum constituent and uh, it is a single component system uh, if you consider a copper nickel system one copper atom one nickel atom is the minimum number of uh, constituent and uh, that is the two component system and even there is a possibility of uh, more than two where we can have uh, three different metal uh, made make a made as an alloy then it is a three component system so depend on the number of components it is of three types so single component two component and uh, three component system first we see what is a single component system as the name indicates here it is only one uh, component for example in a water system it is uh, only water molecule alone so there is no composition variable composition uh, come into act only if there are two different components we can talk about how much composition we take a metal and how much composition we take the b metal like that only if we have two components we can talk about the composition variation but in a single component system there is no com there is no composition variation so which one is variable is temperature and pressure so pressure is taken in uh, y axis temperature in x axis or in certain other cases pressure is taken along the x axis temperature in y axis so it depends it depends upon uh, the requirement so here so this is a best example for uh, is one component system water is a best example where it, it depicts the variation of uh, variation with uh, of pressure and temperature with respect to that it is in uh, liquid state it is in uh, solid state or means it is in ice form or it is in uh, gaseous state and uh, this triple point this point it is uh, where the three phase are in equilibrium this triple point is, is also it is a hydrotic point here where this triple point denotes that the water water vapor and ice all the three phase are in equilibrium you can see here so this line below this line it is in water vapor and it is in water at this particular uh, above this this line separates water vapor and ice from water and uh, in this region it is in ice so uh, with respect to temperature and pressure it uh, either exist in water vapor or it exist in water or it exist in ice form so it is a single component system and uh, we specifically talk about alloy system so we see an example over here okay so this is an example one common system of iron so is iron with respect to change in temperature and pressure it takes uh, different uh, phases um, it it may transit from one phase to other phase here the phase transition means uh, it changes from the fcc structure to bcc structure or it can make a transition from bcc to hcp etc here the phase transition is nothing but the crystal structure the change in crystal structure we uh, mention as the phase transition so this is the one component system of uh, iron uh, phase diagram one component system of iron where it is in it exists in alpha or epsilon iron or gamma iron and here it is again the delta iron and above this uh, temperature it is in liquid iron so at this uh, temperature above this it melts and it will be converted to liquid phase and uh, below this temperature it is in so these are all solid phases but still there is a phase transition due to the change in crystal structure so if you predict the degrees of freedom uh, as we calculated for uh, the two uh, binary systems here if we can calculate we can calculate for a single phase region f equal to 
2 and uh, we know the formula c is equal uh, f equal to c minus p plus n where here uh, this n is 2 since there is a variation of temperature as well as pressure but in alloy system we consider the pressure is constant but here the pressure variation is considered in a one component system so n is 2 and the component is 1 because it is only ion so the degrees of freedom is 2 and if you take, uh, calculate for a two phase region the degrees of freedom is 1 and for a three phase region the degrees of freedom is 0 uh, three phase region means uh, this point exactly this point where this is one phase this is another phase this all these three phases are at equilibrium at this particular point so at this particular pressure at this particular temperature it exists uh, this three phases coexist otherwise uh, if, if the temp pressure changes or the, the temperature changes it go to a single phase uh, of epsilon or single phase of gamma or single phase of alpha so only at this exactly at this particular pressure only at only at this particular temperature it is uh, it exists uh, all the three phases are in equilibrium okay so in that sense uh, the degrees of freedom is zero we cannot change uh, uh, any any of those parameter pressure or temperature cannot be varied and uh, in a two phase region the degrees of freedom is one and in uh, a single phase region the degrees of freedom is two okay so in that sense in a two phase region right so if you, if you consider a two phase region any one can be altered for example if you consider uh, a two phase region somewhere here so either the pressure can be altered or the temperature can be altered if it is a single phase region then we can alter only one so for example here at this particular point uh, uh, it, the this phase as well as this phase coexist okay at this particular phase we can alter the composition along this line still it, uh, these two phases are in equilibrium okay these two phases are in equilibrium so uh, either any one can be altered the other cannot be altered that is the degrees of freedom is one whereas if you take a single phase region the degrees of freedom is two for example if it is an alpha and the temperature can be varied independently and the pressure can be varied independently if you take a gamma ion the pressure can be varied independently the temperature can be varied independently like that if it is a single phase uh, either the temperature and pressure can be varied independently so the inference from those diagram uh, from that uh, single uh, one common system of ion you can see that uh, initially at uh, very low temperature it is an alpha phase alpha ion the temperature and at which it changes is 19 degree celsius 910 degree celsius at this temperature it make a transition from alpha phase to gamma phase where it changes from bcc structure to fcc structure on heating this further at this particular temperature this alpha ion make a transition to bcc uh, del phase where it is again uh, it is a bcc structure from fcc it make a transition to bcc again and not only this change in uh, temperature can make this transition even the change in uh, pressure can make a transition from alpha to gamma or gamma to delta etc and even uh, by applying a very high pressure of 15 gpa it can make a transition from bcc ion to hcp epsilon phase can see in this diagram in this diagram not only by changing the temperature if we change the temperature from a low temperature to high temperature you can see the phase transition uh, this is 8 and degree at 8 uh, sorry 19 degree celsius at that uh, particular temperature it makes a transition from alpha to gamma ion and if you keep on increasing the temperature at a uh, uh, 1400 degree celsius somewhere around 1410 it make a transition to the del ion uh, which we studied there okay so here the transition occurs due to change in temperature not only change in temperature can bring uh, to one uh, the change in phase occurs the change in phase occurs even by varying the pressure for example consider somewhere here at this constant temperature it is in alpha ion it, if you change the increase the pressure increase the pressure it comes to gamma ion 
so like that by increasing the pressure we can make a transition from alpha to gamma can occur and even if we increase the pressure and if the pressure exceeds somewhere around uh, very high pressure of uh, uh, 100 above 125 okay it depends on uh, what is the temperature at it, at it is maintained okay if it is the temperature increases and uh, we can see that um, above this temperature range we can't uh, go to this epsilon ion we, it can make a transition from alpha to gamma not possible to go to epsilon so below this temperature it is possible somewhere around uh, this temperature range means around some uh, 700 degrees celsius below this the transition from alpha to epsilon is possible and here you can see that by increasing the pressure it can make a transition from alpha to epsilon ion okay so you can see here this uh, around the 15 gpa it make a transition from bc to hcp Peace.